can't decide Do we turn back? Do we turn back? Maths is a subject that all GCSE students at Belfast have to take because having a qualification in GCSE Maths is vital to your future. Without it, getting into jobs in higher education is very difficult, especially if you want a career in science or business. Here are some other careers that Maths can help you in. The course content of GCSE Maths builds onto topics that you already know from Key Stage 3, such as Algebra, Geometry and Probability, which all have applications in the real world and even prepare you for dealing with finance later in life. Uh, so we have a new three-year mathematics syllabus uh, that's been brought into GCSE. Uh, it covers a wide range of topics from things like proportion, uh, statistics and then it's quite heavily weighted towards number topics and algebra as well. And many, many careers are going to use mathematical concepts that students would learn at GCSE. Uh, anything ranging from electricians um, in the sort of calculations they'd need to do, uh, but also things like architects using plan drawings, scale drawings, um, the sort of trigonometry uh, that people think is pointless. It is quite often used in, in architectural and building uh, careers uh, fairly regularly. Um, I think just in general that the, the numeracy skills the students were built up by studying mathematics for three years are essential to everyday life. So time management, budgeting, all these sort of things that you don't realise when you're in school that you're going to have to deal with as an adult uh, come very much to the fore and, and, and mathematics is a big part of helping students through that. A general concern with maths is the difficulty, but this isn't as much of a problem as you might think, with 72% of students passing the subjects in 2013. If maths isn't your strong point, Belfast has schemes to be put in place if you're struggling. Uh, so, so we do find that many students actually do struggle with their mathematics GCSE. Um, and it's something that's fairly commonplace, but what we try and do is, is support those students who are very, uh, who are, are very low ability, so, so need that extra support. Uh, but also we try and support students who are of a high ability, but just trying to get to the next grade up. So something that we put into place is a regular time during their tutor time. Uh, so during registration they'll be with the math teacher and they'll be covering content um, either as revision or maybe just um, scrubbing up on a couple of things they've done earlier on uh, during their, their education. Or it might be uh, new topics that might get them onto that next grade bracket. Uh, we regularly run uh, Saturday sessions and uh, things like half term uh, sessions leading up to the exam immediately before and that sort of last minute revision can make a big difference uh, to some of those students in, in getting either their C grades or beyond. The average salary in the UK is around £26,500 a year and unless you go on to do an A level in maths which makes the average salary jump up to £29,150. Even an E grade in A level maths can make an average salary jump up to £28,620 a year. Universities look for students who have academic qualifications and maths is one of the best academic subjects you can take. A level maths has really helped my other subjects too like physics and economics. It's also really helped my university application, and if all goes to plan, hopefully in September I'll be going to my first choice university in London, Trent, and maths has played a huge part in that. Overall, GCSE maths is a subject that shouldn't be seen as a chore, as the opportunities that it opens up give you so many different career possibilities, putting you on the path towards almost any career you want. <laughs>